Hi, my name is Aneta and this is Chemistry at Glance. In today's video, um, the equation that we're going to work with is N equals CV. So we're moving out from the N equals M mass over MR, now we're focusing on this equation. So this equation has number of moles, C as the concentration, and phi V as the volume. So volume, concentration, number of moles. Again, this equation will not be given in your data booklet. So again, you have to remember it. I like to remember it this way, N equals C V, but you can also remember it by this or by this. Whichever ones you like, I like to remember it this way. So number of moles, the unit of moles is mole. Concentration will be mole, dm minus 3, and volume is dm cubed. Why uh, volume is calculated in uh, dm cubed and why concentration is mole, dm minus 3, is because if you're trying to find concentration, you do mole, you divide it by the volume, and if you divide by something and you want to take it up, you put a minus in front of this number. The indice that was here. Okay, so let's try, an, um, actually before we try an example together, sometimes in your exam questions, you might be given the volume in centimeters cubed. But before you can use this equation, you have to transfer it into decimeters cubed. So if you're given centimeters cubed, in order to find the decimeters cubed, you have to times it by 10 to the minus 3. So basically it's times not point not not 1. However, um, sometimes when you finally work out your volume, you have it in decimeters cubed, the question tells you show your answer in centimeters cubed. So if you have decimeters cubed and you want to transfer it into centimeters cubed, you do times 10 to the 3, so times 1000. So decimeters is a bigger number than centimeters. So for example, let's do an example. If you have um, 20 centimeters cubed and you want to find decimeters cubed, you times it by 10 to the minus 3 decimeters cubed. You can just leave it like this because that's a, that's a way that you can put it in your calculator too. You don't have to um, worry about writing not point not two. You can just leave it as 20 times 10 to the minus 3. Now let's make an example. The example I gave you here is that you have 15 centimeters cubed of NaOH solution which has a concentration of 0.2 moles dm minus 3 and now we have to find the mass of NaOH sodium hydroxide that was required. So first of all you have a volume, you have a concentration. So that's an equation that we're going to use. Then you also have mass mentioned. So the equation you know that's using mass is N equals mass over MR. So these are two equations that you will be required to use. First of all, you're trying to find mass. Okay, but in order to find mass, we also need the MR. Okay, we can work out the MR of NOH. However, you don't have little n, which is the number of moles. Look, here, you're trying to find the number of moles. Okay, so do we have concentration? Yes, we do. Do we have volume? Yes, we do. So you can work out the number of moles, which then can be used in here. So concentration is not 0.2 and volume is 15. However, it's in centimeters cubed. So in order to change it into decimeters cubed, you have to multiply by 10 to the minus 3. So not 0.2 times 15, which you have to multiply by 10, 10 to the minus 3. And the answer to this is 3.6 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. That's the moles, number of moles of sodium hydroxide. Now you're trying to find the mass. So let's rearrange the equation. Mass equals N times 
Emma, because it was divided here, so times on the other side. We know the number of moles now, 3.6 times 10 to the minus 3. We know the MR, we can calculate it. Sodium is 23 plus hydrogen is 1.01 .01 plus oxygen is 16. So we multiply this by all, by all of this, which gives you a final answer of 0.1144 grams.